The main message that Cisco is trying to get out is that the network is a very important part of a cybersecurity strategy. Um, and we want to say that there's no silver bullet when it comes to cyber threat defense. It's more like a silver buckshot. Because the adversaries are going after so many different parts of the network or parts of the enterprise, and they're using so many different methods, you need to defend in multiple different places. Uh, the network, which is pervasive in enterprises, is a very good sensor and a good way to block these threats. As an example, every Cisco switch puts out something called NetFlow, which monitors how traffic is going across the network. We are able to monitor that NetFlow and alarm on anomalies or disparate behavior. So as an example, if an analyst is normally reading a bunch of information off of the network and all of a sudden his workstation starts sending a lot of information out, that's an anomaly and that's a difference and that would be an alarm. If one node starts sending the same data to a bunch of other nodes, that would be indicative of a network reconnaissance looking for other holes. So that would set an alarm and there are many instances like that. And it's all dependent on using the network as a sensor and getting this net flow into the uh, monitoring software. So that's an example of how the network is the sensor and that things that are already built into government networks uh, are there and can be used to protect the network. So we like to say that most customers already have about 80% of what they need to protect their network and by strategically adding things they can make their network more secure. For more information, I would go to cisco.com forward slash cyber and do a search on cyber threat defense.